In a Fox 23 exclusive, John DeSivas is live after sitting down with the family of the homeowner who died. And John, the man's brother says he was just protecting his family. Yeah, he says his brother died defending his home. He says he was having a cookout, something that is not uncommon, something they do frequently as a family. In this case, he says his brother asked two teenagers to leave, and then the shooting started. That warm feeling that he always had for us, that warm, loving feeling that he... I'm sitting across from DeAndre Downing. He's looking through photos of his brother, Adam Balance. The family called him Junior. Loving, he was a family man. He had, a, he had nine kids. He loved all his kids, his nieces and nephews. He was, he was the, the teddy bear of our family. That's why the family can't understand what happened Sunday. Tulsa police tell us some kind of dispute led to Balance asking a 16-year-old and 15-year-old who were guests at his home to leave. And he tried to tell them that they had to leave and they didn't want to leave and it escalated from there. A shootout outside the home near Apache in Harvard, leaving three people injured and balance in the 16 year old he was arguing with dead. Police identified that 16 year old is Terrell Jr. Junior's 15 year old friend was also shot as well as Balance's 20 year old son who police say also got involved in the shooting. After his dad was shot, police say the son picked up his dad's rifle and started firing back. An 18 year old family member of Balance's was also shot. Downing says this never should have happened. All the kids is gonna really miss him. I, I'm, I'm really gonna, I'm really gonna miss my brother. But on the other side, 16-year-old Terrell Jr.'s family is mourning too, posting these pictures on Facebook. Tragic for both families, no matter who was at fault. This is easily one of the more tragic things that you will hear of here in Tulsa. As of the latest information, police tell us the 15-year-old is still in critical condition and an 18-year-old may be paralyzed. Both families have set up GoFundMes to raise money for funeral expenses to bury their loved ones. Covering news that matters, John Acebus, Fox 23 News.